Thanks for waking me up to warn me about the film burning. I could have lost my job. Oh. I guess you learned something from Finley after all. Yeah, I guess he did come in handy. You can love the work, but not the man. What if you love them both? You've got to be kidding. The date was a disaster. No, I had a great time. I especially like the look on your face when the accordion player broke out in that song. <laughs> You're making fun of me. No. Yes. Mm -mm. It's our first date. I wanted it to be, I wanted us to be. A normal couple. Yes. Well, you're a witch. I'm a white lighter. You know, being busy, being called away are probably the only normal things about us. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, doors open. Is anybody, uh... I, uh... Never mind. We, uh... No, Dan, wait. What's this? This is yours. Some of the things that you left over at my house. Oh. I kept them around because I, part of me was hoping that maybe, maybe that you'd come back. And after last night, I realized that I have to move on to. Um, thanks. Hey, Dan. Hi, um, are you? Just leaving. I, uh, get any easier. Okay, talk to me of something else. What happened in the magazine? Oh, I had another run-in with Finley. Hey, you. Anyway, it all worked out. Did you get to tell off the demon of crankiness again? No, once was enough, but ooh, my editor did love the shot that I chose of him. Said that it was the first picture that captured the real man. Mm. Speaking of, I will never see another horror movie again. But I ran across this and thought, <gasps> Prue, oh, Prue, oh. I love it. Okay. I love it. I'm going to go watch it right now. Should we worry? Uh -huh. I, th I think she's just saying goodbye. <laughs> 